The musical arena into which Mark appeared with his two-man group Tyrannosaurus Rex was, in 1968, a year away from the breakup of the Beatles that so threatened to destroy the theatrical and sometimes hysterical relationship between fan and rock star. Many said that there would never again be such scenes of fan mania, but by the middle of 1972, there emerged a new rock hero with a new style and he wore a new crown. The media chose Mark to be the replacement for the Beatles and along with his crown came a new phrase, T-Rex to see. The old Beatle mania faded from people's minds. Rex mania had arrived. Mark's death in 1977 was the closing sequence in a career that spanned 10 years. During this decade, he progressed through three separate and distinctive phases. From the Electric Warrior of 1970-71 to the King of Glam in the years 1972 through to 74. The final phase? In a pop age where punk was still a term you heard used in old American gangster movies, Mark was already hinting at yet another facet to his ability. To manipulate changes and to somehow always be one step ahead. No one can deny that his final crowning as the father of punk was still in the distance, yet who else but Mark could leave you in the last track on this video thinking the performance could so easily have been made in the 80s when in actual fact the year was 1975? Is the right time? 